everything we have always known changed. But in the midst of the struggle, in the midst of the unknown, we were stretched, challenged to cope, challenged to rid of our comfort, challenged to innovate. Pilipinas, kumusta? As we are finally coming out of the tunnel, we deeply thank ang ating mga frontliners for their service throughout the pandemic. And of course, to the Filipinos for their cooperation, kahit na madalas ang titigas ng uro ninyo. <laughs> Kidding aside, so as I have said, we are transitioning to the new normal. And today, we will be talking about our country's path to recovery, or rather, the Filipinos' path to recovery. We will talk about the gains that I think we somehow found in the losses that we have faced. First, to start with education. From having it within the four corners of the classroom, education was moved to the four corners of the screen, forcing teachers and students to do away with conventional methods of teaching and learning. But to look at the bright side, we are now seeing a shift from traditional methods to more innovative and technological approaches to education. Along with becoming computer literate, we are also becoming information literate. Second, the economy. Because of the job loss brought by the pandemic, Filipinos once again proved that tayo ay madiskarteng mga tao. We see a lot of Filipinos looking to entrepreneurship, bringing their business ideas to life. And this probably contrib contributed to the efforts of the government programs to regain the economic loss everyone suffered during the pandemic. Though this is not to say that we have fully recovered because we see the continuous price increase in goods and services, but I dearly pray that we could get there. And third, health. Aside from the significant decrease in the counts of COVID-19 cases, Filipinos in general are becoming more informed about medical issues. Specifically, the youth, we are starting to value health. Like I, for one, on the own area sa soft drinks, tawag mag exercise, pag dahulo, wala pag five minutes, pwede pa yan. But now we are very much concerned with uh, sanitation and uh, keeping track of our health. And those individual efforts, I think, greatly contribute to the uh, health recovery of the general population. Now, with everything that I have said, I think it's not yet safe to say that we are doing a great job at recovery because the truth is, nangangapaparin tayo. There are students who are still being left behind. Lahat na nang bilihin ay nagsisitaas ng presyo. And the public health is not accessible in general. And that is to say that despite all the resiliency, I have so far mentioned, I am calling on Filipinos that we should know the quality of public service we deserve and we should by all means demand for that while we are doing our part as a good citizen. That's it for today's Food for Thought. I am Jaira Seraldi reminding you to always have an outlook, insight, and keep thinking so you can be the light. See ya!